Hi, good day to my lecturer, Dr. Muhammad Ikwan. My name is Lofiki. This presentation is to show the simulations of the software and how I managed to complete for the project-based learning. For the content, firstly, I will give the introductions and explain the overview and objectives. Secondly, the methodology of the completions will be discussed. Thirdly, the results including the simulations will be shown. And lastly, the conclusions that includes the outcomes and recommendations will wrap up these presentations. So, we all know that the electrical transmission is an important process that will deliver the generated electrical energy to the distribution system so that it can be transmitted to the user and the consumer. Therefore, the power system planning analysis and calculation that regarding to the loads requirements and transmission planning are very crucial to achieving an effective transmissions. Besides, it is important to ensure the safety of the system and develop the protect functions to identify the transmission faults. So according to the instructions, the IEEE 14 bus system are required to construct by the selected tower system simulation software that are suitable for the root flow analysis and short circuit analysis. The objectives of these projects are firstly to research the appropriate tower system simulation software that can perform the electrical transmission analysis. Secondly, to construct a model of the IEEE 14 bus system that is suitable for the root flow and short circuit analysis. Lastly, to analyze the three phase power and balance fault system of the power transmission lines. By referring to the objectives, the tasks are listed out. Firstly, preparing the base case for each of the analysis. And then, the task of modeling an IEEE 14 bus transmission system network for the load flow and short circle analysis. Hence, the last task is determining the fault current assigned at each of the buses by performing the fault analysis. In the methodology, suitable simulation software had been discussed. There are various types of power system simulation software, including Simulink MATLAB, PSCAT, ETAP, and many more. As well, the selected power system analysis software was the ETAP because it is great user-friendly and convenient tools with the reliable output data and calculations. Next, the result will be discussed by using the analysis that were carried out, which is the root flow analysis and short circuit analysis. Root flow analysis is the study of the steady state of the power system network, and it can determine the operating state for the loading in the IEEE 14 bar system to solve the power equation at each of the nodes in the system. While the short circuit analysis is important to determine the value of the short circuit current and compare the magnitude of the system produced with the rating of the overcurrent protective device. Hi, so here is the layout for my selected simulation software ETAP. The one line diagram features will be used to draw the circuit. And this is the main panel. The edit button from the toolbar will be selected to draw our power system circuit. When we are in the edit mode, the right side of the panel here will have various symbols that represent for each of the device and components. So the bus system will be constructed based on the instruction given, which is an IEEE 14 bus system will be designed for the load flow and short circuit analysis. And here, the bus system circuit with the characteristic of 14 bars, which is compiled with the IEEE 14 bus system, is constructed. The bus bar is very important to collect the current from generators of the system to distribute the electrical power to the output circuit. Hence, five generators will consist in this system to supply the powers. And then this system also consists of 19 impedance and branches, which are used for indicating the resistance and reactance of the circuit. Next, it consists of 11 lump loads, which is act as the output, like the equipment, the motors in the industries. And lastly, 
there are three transformers. Uh, what the fuck? Okay, no. Lastly, there are three transformers with the two windings which can step up or step down the voltage in the transmission lines. So for each of the component used, the important thing is that the data should be set appropriately according to the analysis that will be conducted. For example, for the generators, the rating, the rating, primer mover rating and the operating values will be identified. And in the ETAP software, the details of the information um, will consist also the types of the generator. Lah. So we can choose the types of generator, like the steam turbo or weather hydro will be decided by the user. So after the setting of the data as compiled in the report here, here is the information of the generators and here is the information of the buses, which is consisted in the report. Um, so after this data set is key in into each of the components, the simulations of the load flow analysis will be run in which we will switch to the loop flow in this toolbar and click the run loop flow analysis. Then in the main panel, we could see the rating and the loop flow result for each of the branches and component here. Besides that, the tab allows us to export the result and the analysis could be done more convenient by the report manager here. So we will select the complete result and select the format that you want. I will select the SL and click OK. And then the report will be generated. And then the report will be generated as the SL file shown here. So same as the short circuit analysis, after we select the features of a short circuit, we could generate the result and the report from ETAP and all of the analysis uh, we have already compiled in the report here. In conclusion, from this project-based learning, the knowledge of drawing single line diagrams have improved. Besides to complete this project, an understanding of how to read the data set have acquired. So overall, the objectives of this project have been achieved. Lastly, there are some recommendations of on the IEEE 14 bus system is that the value of the minimum shot of circuit current can be referred for the protection relay, while for the maximum short circuit current should be used to determine the rating of the current breakers. As well, this can improve the safety and protections of the bus system. Lastly, these are the resources that I refer to get the knowledge and also idea on how to complete this project-based learning. That's all from me. Thank you.